Well, honey, ho, stampers, welcome back to my studio. This is Deb Valder, and today I'm going to bring you a really fun card. You can do it a bunch of different ways, but today I'm going to show you how to do this shaker card. And um, a new window that we are debuting, it's called Peekaboo Window 1, and it's just some squares in here, and I just love it because it's very versatile. You can take and you can use the windows so that they're going this way. Or you can take and use the window so that they're going this way. Or you can take and use them going this way. All right, so they're, it, like I said, it's just very, very versatile. Um, great to, to put little things in. Um, they're just windows. They're really, really cute. So let me just show you some cards that I did with this one. I did a video on this little tunnel card, or what I call the pinball card. All right, and what that is, is let me just get them all in one spot. Okay, so all of the prills are up there. Now they're going to go from there to this window right here. And then they're going to go to this window right here. But they can't go back up to this window without going this way. My grandchildren were doing um, playing pinball. And um, it just got me thinking, I bet you I could make a card that I could call a pinball card. And I just love it. Isn't that cute? I just love it. It's fun to play with too. All right, I did um, that happy birthday one. And I also did a get well one. All right. Isn't that so cute? So that is done with the Peekaboo Window 1. This is the one we're going to do today. Um, but you could easily do this without adding any of the pearls to it and making a making it a pop-up card. You could just take and add this to this like this. And you could just add whatever you wanted in your windows, not making it um, a, a, a shaker card. Because not everybody likes I love them. I just love them. But not everybody does. All right, so then we're also going to be using in this card, how fun is this? This is going to be our Ant series. So you've already seen me use this little set right here. All right, so this is the um, this is the Ant's Drink Up, and I just love it because um, it's just got the one stamp in it, and this is what I did with it. I used it for um, this card right here where I used the Festive Edger dies right here, and then this one I added a whole bunch of our crystal glaze to it to make them all shiny, and they are so stinking cute. All right, used a couple of different, um, see how different your cards can look depending on what you add for embellishments. So that was one of the ants. And then we have this little ant set that I am going to use today. Okay, and that one is, um, I think it's called um, Ants at a Picnic. All right, so here's that one that we're gonna use um, today. Also, in this, and the sayings on them are absolutely adorable. This one just cracks me up, all right? This one says, you know, um, when life gives you lemons, uh, make lemonade and add vodka. It's just the cutest, cutest little stamp set ever. And then, um, th so those will all fit on the outsides of these windows, but you can also have them on the insides of the windows if you wanted to do an inside card. Um, this one right here is a brand new one in the shop. It is absolutely adorable. Okay, and that one is the, um, that one's called the Cool Bean Set. All right, and it's got such cute little characters in there, and they will fit in the windows also. This one was made specifically for this, I believe, um, and these are the squares that fit these little squares right here. Let me just show you. So if you wanted the cows to come inside the windows, they fit in there just perfectly. I love that. Okay, so there's the cow set, and that one is called Cow Party because everybody needs a cow party. And then this one I thought would look really cute in it too if you were having, this is called... Uh, um, uh, Ahoy matey and I thought this one would look really cute. Um, these are all summery ones I just love them and that would look cute in those little windows also so check that out in the shop And if you need to get to the shop, there's a little eye up in the upper right hand corner Just click on that that'll get you right to the shop and you can just peruse and um, Just look around in there. This one also would look absolutely adorable And I think I might end up doing this one for one of my kids birthdays I just think this is absolutely adorable and this one is called Our Pirates. This one and all of the ones that are our summer series, okay, um, is the little dragons. So this is the one that is canoeing and that one's called, or fishing. This is the fishing one, uh, fishing dragons. This one right here is called camping dragons. Okay, I just love all the little words because they fit so perfectly inside these squares. And then the other dragon one um, that you could use it for is the um, the sick one. And that one's called Get Well Dragons. And I've used this one um, a couple of different times for um, people that actually were sick. So I've used that one already. 
And then for this little guy right here, one of my favorite background stamps is this right here. It's shiplap. It's not to be um, confused with uh, barn board or any of the other ones. This is shiplap. Shiplap is all the rage and um, it just is such an, uh, a really pretty stamp. I'm actually using it this way to make it look like it. the shiplap is going straight up and down, but I love this one. Shiplap, very, very big. So let me just show you a couple of the other cards that we were doing. Um, and this is the one that I used that, uh, let me just find it again. This stamp set is the one I used for this card right here. And not a stamp set, it's a die. And um, I have a whole series on this one. It's called um, Floral Squares. And I have an entire um, series uh, in videos and on my blog for this little um, die. Okay, so make sure you check that out. And let's get started because this is so super easy, um, but I wanted to show you how to do it, all right? So like I said, if you don't want to take and make this a, um, a, a window card or a, a shaker card, you can just take and adhere these down, so, or you can even take and just um, pop it up just a little bit and add whatever you want to it. All right, so I'm just going to show you the basics of this, and then you can put whatever you want in it. These little words came from the uh, stamp set that this is all from, and what I did was I took our Wow ink, and I took our detailed embossing powder. Now, you really want to make sure that you use detailed embossing powder um, for these little words like this, because otherwise, it's so chunky that it loses the words, the letters inside the, the, the um, embossing powder. So make sure you get, get our um, detailed embossing powder. And then I just heat it up, cut it up, and added them to the picture right there. Today, I'm going to use, I wanted um, summer colors, so I went to my bright colors. And this one is going to be the red. It's right I'm also going to be using guilt trip and this one is spruce willis all right so these are the colors that I'm going to use to match these little guys right here so the first thing that we need to do is to adhere this piece to our base and that's pretty much um, what you do with every uh, window card or every shaker card is you need a background right so make sure your card is right side up and not upside down I've done that before too all right, so there's that. All right, so we're going to put this aside, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add this little guy right to this. So you have to add the window sheet next so that nothing flies out of your window. So let me show you one that I did. So if you don't want to make it a shaker card, what I did was I just added pop dots, or um, our little foam squares, onto the back of this these pieces right here and popped it up, and then you can add whatever it is you want or put your pictures underneath it and then um, add your squares on the top. So that's it without the window sheet. But if you want are making a shaker card the very next thing you need to do is to add this window sheet to your um, to your to your squares right here so I'm going to do that by taking my um, liquid glue and just putting a little line all the way around here and adding the window sheet to this all right there we go. All right, so there's that. The next thing that you have to do is you have to add the um, foam tape to it. So let's put the top on our glue and grab our foam tape. So what I did was, this is what our foam tape looks like. It comes in white and black. And what I did was I cut it in half because I like to get, maximize it. You don't need that thick, but sometimes you do. So if you buy just the roll of the thick, you can take and you can use it for everything. And what I did was I'm going to be using my little um, work area right here. And what I did was I cut it in half, like I said, and now I'm going to add it to um, my sheet. So the first one is going to go right straight down the middle because why, why cut each square individually when this is going to um, connect all three of these together. So I'm just going to put one right down the middle and then what I'm going to do is just close off each individual square. So add, let's make sure that didn't show through the window. Nope, it's good. All right, and I'm going to add this one right here. Now, the most important thing is to butt it right up to the next piece. So I'm going to go a little bit past the window. And that one's a little bit too small, so let's grab one of these. All right, make sure that each one of them, like I said, I can't say it enough. It has to, otherwise the pearls are going to leak out and you, then you'd have a mess. All right, and we're going to go here. Now what I like to do is make it just a tad bit bigger. 
grab my um, pokey tool and squish it right in there. So we can even take that off and just make sure that it's butted right up to that piece right there. That one is, okay. All right, so that square is done. That's how fast this is. Let's take this one and work on this little guy right here. And what I do usually is to take the flat end, the, 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 not the piece that I cut, but the, the uh, straight edge, I will put closest to the window. All right, so if I did it this way, it's not bad, but this one, this way here, I know this end definitely has a, a, a straight edge to it. Okay, does that make sense? All right, there's that. And then, oh, that one's not gonna be big enough, but I'm gonna show you a little trick. You, I piece these things together, um, and I always cut a lot of them, so I have them for the next card. But I wanna show you a little trick. All right, let's grab our little pokey thing, lift that up, make sure that's right in there with that. Okay, you see that? I'm getting it right there so it works out good. All right, so I'm gonna show you something. Let me just grab this one and get this one done. Okay. And this one. All right, I want to show you something. So if by chance I didn't get it all the way over to that, let me just show you. So let's say I just uh, left a hole there, okay? I want to show you how you can always fix them. All right, well, this one made it all the way to the end. But let's say there's a little hole right here. What you want to do is to just take a little square piece, okay? And add it right here to the middle. And what that's going to do is just close up that little hole. You see? And you can take your little pokey thing right here and poke it in if you need to. But what that did was anywhere that you have a spot that, let's say that one wasn't long enough, it only went to there, just add another little piece. That's why I always save these. And then what I do is I add them to this. And the next time I'm ready to do anything with foam tape, I've got all these extra pieces, all right? It's very easy to, to kind of group them together. Like I said, I like that long one. It's It saves you a lot of time, and then just piece in the rest of them. So let's move this little guy out of the way, and let's work on our card. The other thing that I use these for is because you do need um, extra pieces over here, otherwise your card is gonna droop. I'll just take these little pieces and add them um, right here. All right, so now I've got enough for everything. All right, all right, so. Grab all of these, make sure you get every single piece of this off of there because you don't want to have one that's not adhered down because your prills will, will or anything that you're using for your shaker um, will get out of there, all right? Will we'll leak out of there and we don't want that to happen. Whoops, that one's good. All right, let's see if I've got everything. Oops, see there's one right there. You don't want that to happen. That's why I always check them. Okay, I think we're ready. All right, so now we gotta decide, do we want the hole on this side? Let's make it this way this time. So the card opens that way. All right, so we're gonna have the, the, uh, the pearls on this side. So let's just take and grab um, our pearls and start putting them in. Here we go. Here's the Spruce Willis. All right, grab my little spoon. And that's all you need is just one little dollop. We're gonna go right here in the middle. Okay. Get back there, you. All right. You don't need a lot. You do not need a lot. Nope. And then over here in the middle, I like these look kind of like, um, to me, this looked like seeds from um, the watermelon. Okay. Again, you only need one little dollop. And if you're using prills, you definitely want to pick up one of these little spoons. They're in the shop. 
okay? And then the last one is our red, it's real, it's right, all right? And I like holding the, the spoon this way because it's easier to just um, drop them in. All right, everybody's in their corner now. The next thing that we're gonna do, remember we took off all the tape here. So now what we're gonna do is just line it up and lay it down. Now the very next thing that you need to do is to make sure that you have all of these nice and, and um, adhered. So I just kind of rub all the way around and you are ready to put on whatever you want to put on. Um, when I did the um, stamping on this one, I, I've got um, something in mind for this one. That's why I didn't do the background. It's, this one's going to be a little bit different. So watch my blog because you'll see this one come up again. But I wanted to show you how to do the, the little squares. Um, and then you can add, like I said, whatever you want. And another card that I did with that same peekaboo window one is this one right here. And this was my pinball card. Make sure you check out that video. All right, all right. If you have any questions, you let us know. Make sure that you um, hit the subscribe button, click on the little bell, give us a thumbs up. We know you'll love us. Share with your friends and you have a really good day. Take care, bye-bye. <laughs>